In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to tie a knot on our thread and then to also um, thread your needle in two different A's. So first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna pick out your color of thread. Um, our thread, the thread in this classroom is set up on these little clothespins and that's just to kind of keep it organized so that they don't get knotted. You are just gonna pop out the loose end um, and I always say to cut a length of thread that is about the length of your arm. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, if you cut it any longer, it is kind of likely to um, get knotted as you're working, which can be pretty frustrating. Um, and then once I'm done cutting it, I'm just gonna open that up a little bit and pop that end back in there so that it doesn't get unraveled and all knotted in oops, our storage. Right. Okay, so I have my thread that is cut to the length that I need, and now I want to tie a knot near one of the ends. Right. So to do that, I'm going to take two fingers, I'm going to keep them together, and I'm going to use my dominant hand. So I'm, Jesus, I keep hitting the camera. Um, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to use my right hand, I'm going to wrap the thread around, two fingers on my left hand, and I'm going to hold the thread with my thumb. So wrap it around like that, and I'm gonna hold that. And then when I take this thread, I can, the loose, shorter end, I'm going to bring it under that loop. And then I can just, when I take my fingers out, I have kind of like a pretzel looking shape, and I'm just gonna pull that tight and I will have a little knot. And that will help the thread to catch as I am stitching on my fabric so that the thread doesn't come out. Now that I have a knot in my thread, I'm going to try to thread my needle. So our needles look like this. Um, there is an end that has like a pointy tip and then there is an end that has the eye. So we're gonna try to thread the thread through the eye so that it moves with our needle. There are two different ways that we can do that. Um, and the first way that we're gonna do that is just eyeballing it basically. And one thing that some that a lot of people do is they will take one end and kind of put it in their mouth to wet it a little bit so that when they are trying to bring that end through the eye of the needle, all those little pieces that make up the thread are all together. And I got that pretty quickly. Um, and then I'm just gonna pull, so I'll have a shorter tail over here, and then on my long tail, all the way at the end is my knot. And once my needle is threaded, I'm ready to get started. Um, that way of threading your needle can be kind of tricky, so the easier way to do that is to use a needle threader. So it looks just like this. It's basically just a little piece of wire on a plastic edge. And all that you're gonna do is instead of threading the thread through the eye of the needle, I'm gonna take my needle threader and I'm gonna put that through the eye just like that, right? Um, and then I can take my thread and just poke that through the needle threader. And then I wanna make sure that it's not, that I have like a nice long tail over here so that um, it doesn't fall off as I'm pulling it through. And then when I pull the needle threader back through the eye, it will also pull the thread through. And now my needle is threaded and I am ready to start embroidering.